man, I can't do the show right now. What do you mean? I can't do the show right now. I, 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 you don't hear the dog barking. They're, they're vacuuming the house. There's all kinds of noise around me. Oh, no, don't, don't worry about that. Uh, I, there's a new feature from StreamYard. I, I can just hit one button. It'll take care of all of that stuff. Join the studio. We'll be good. New feature from StreamYard. Okay, hey, that, that, that sounds good to me. W what about what about a filter, man? I, I, I want to look as good as you on your camera. I don't, I don't want to look like this. What do you have for me? You got anything? Yeah, yeah, actually, they got something for that as well. Um, they've got some AI touch. I don't know what it'll look like, but like I said, join the studio. Let's get you covered. Okay, okay, sounds good. I'm connecting right now. Once the internet is back. Internet. <laughs> you heard right, fam. StreamYard added background noise removal and appearance touch-up powered by artificial intelligence. If you're recording in a noisy room or you want to add a filter to your camera to give that Instagram vibe, they've got you covered. Or do they? Let's give these new features a test drive in this video. I'm Kirk Nugent, your live video coach. And on this channel, I give you the step-by-step -step guides and practical tutorials for the do-it-yourself video creator that learns visually. And today, we're looking at noise removal and appearance touch-up from StreamYard. So here we are in StreamYard, getting ready to enter the studio and we will find these new features in your settings. You can actually, uh, as the host, you can hit the three dots on any guests that you have in the system and just go to their audio and then go ahead and change it there. But as you're changing it for yourself, you would just simply go into settings. Let's do that over to settings, go to audio and you can see automatically adjust by mic volume, stereo audio, reduce mic background noise. And it says new and echo cancellation. Now, unlike echo, echo cancellation, reducing the background noise does work even if you have stereo audio on. Now, as soon as you turn on echo cancellation, notice stereo audio is turned off. But in my opinion, echo cancellation and reducing the mic background noise would be a little bit too much. So keep that in mind. Uh, but you would simply turn this on right here. You can turn it on for yourself. You can turn it on for your guests um, to be able to reduce that background noise. Um, it is built on artificial intelligence. So there is a component of making sure that uh, it, it, it gets a baseline of what the audio, what the audio sounds like from that particular guest in the studio, from that particular room. And once it has a baseline of what it sounds like quiet, it does something to then make sure that anything outside of that baseline is in excluded from the live show, from the live stream. So keep that in mind as well for your audio. You would simply come in here and add that in that way. So I've just added my laptop into the studio so you can see what the guest looks like. And I can simply click on the three dots for that guest. And you have the option to edit mic settings. And here you can see echo cancellation and automatically adjust volume. Mic volume is here. So you can actually uncheck this or check this. Um, and you can turn your the mic volume up and down for that guest if that's something that you need. Um, use this sparingly, y'all. <laughs> it does it doesn't in increase what that guest sounds like, and it may be unbalanced with you. Leave this checked if you want the system to automatically adjust the volume. Echo cancellation, as I mentioned before, does not have an effect or impact on background noise, but echo cancellation is there, and that has its own specific thing that it does. Echo cancellation is to remove the person speaking from what is being uh, sent back to them, meaning you don't want an echo, right? So I don't want to hear myself coming back to me from the speakers that might be around me going into the mic and coming back to me again. We, we want to remove echo, but reducing the background noise, mic background noises is, is different. It improves audio clarity by minimizing background noises. So take that thing for a test drive, uh, check it out, see if it works for you. Um, the second thing that we want to do here, and that will require us to add these cameras to the stream, and that is uh, camera touch up. So we go back into settings again. We go to the camera here, it's camera settings, and then we can say touch up my appearance. 
Now, each person does have to do this for themselves. I can't necessarily do this for uh, a guest. So you see here, I only have the ability to edit mic settings, but the guest would be able to go in and turn on this feature, to touch up my appearance. They would be able to turn on that feature for themselves. And you can see that immediately has changed some things in my appearance. You get to be the judge of whether that looks better or worse. Now, I am using a, a DSLR camera on a capture card, so it's gonna be difficult to see what that looks like, but I am going to make the, uh, let's make this other one bigger, and we are going to take a look and see if we make that change to this other camera, how will that fare? So I just enabled that feature on that guest camera. I can't say that I see much of a difference, y'all. That's just me. I can't say that I see much of a difference, but again, um, we're working with cameras that are not necessarily uh, your basic. So but I I'd be interested to see what your screenshots look like. I would be interested to see what your audio sounds like as you begin using these features. And again, simply go to settings, go to camera itself, usually starts out on camera and then simply select touch up my appearance. When you select that, it gives a little link, but it, it, in my opinion, hasn't changed much of anything. AI is changing everything, the way we search, the way we work, and now the way we stream, kinda. <laughs> I love to hear your thoughts on these features, thumbs up, uh, or thumbs down in the comments. There are several more to cover from StreamYard and I hope to get to them in future videos. Unlock the power of all your favorite streaming platforms with these videos.